Hey there Internet Keith here and welcome to the Cars of Keith YouTube channel and in this video we are doing something I've been wanting to do for a very long time and finally bit the bullet and bought one. And that is a two-stage deionization filtering system for my wash cart. This is from Max Water and it's going to go on the wash cart and I want to be able to reuse my pressure washer hose and my pressure washer gun to be as efficient as possible. A lot of people who have these systems have a separate water hose system at the end to use to do the rinse. I want to use the same thing I use to wash the car and then bypass the pressure washer. Now the reason I want to bypass the pressure washer is because you don't need the deionization for the wash and the, the rinses. You need it for the final, final rinse because that's what's going to get everything off the car. Now the main reason I went with this product on Amazon is because it's budget friendly. It's about 120 bucks. Most of the systems out there are in the mid 200 to the 300, even close to $400 range like the CR Spotless. I wanted to do a budget system that was gonna work just as good. And the best thing about this one is, some of the other ones in this price range, the filters aren't reusable. These filters that came with these, you just open the top and pour the new resin in. You don't have to buy new filters ever again. So let's get right into the product. You just wanted to do a water hose rinse with this system. You would only need two of these. One to go on each side. It's a three quarter inch MPT thread on this side. And then it's a three quarter inch garden hose thread on the inside. And that gives you the ability to put the water hose on there and screw it on. And we have a garden hose quick disconnect that we'll put in there. And this represents my water hose. So the water hose is gonna hook up to this. And there you go. On this side you have a three quarter inch MPT. Then you have a half inch uh, female half inch male, they go together. And then this half inch male, MPT on this side, on the inside is a three inch female. And then there's a three inch male. And there we go. And this works out pretty good because this is uh, reducing the size, which is going to build more pressure. So we take this assembly, and obviously we have not Teflon taped it yet, into this side like that. And I'll have a hose in here, but to represent the hose, this quick disconnect sits at the end connects like that. Then we have the other quick disconnect that's on the opposite side of the hose. That'll hook up like this. And then we'll be able to use this water with the current spray gun. And then we're using the soaping tip that usually comes with most sets. It gives me that balance I need between pressure and flow. So everything I need here to set these up, I have my monkey wrench. So we Teflon taped it up. I torqued these down. I really didn't show that in the video. I didn't figure it's pretty self-explanatory there. There you go. So the main way this works is you have your in, the water flows through this large opening here, fills up this entire cavity, then comes in through the bottom of the filter and flows up through the top out, then back into this cavity. And then it repeats the same process. The main reason I picked these up outside of price is the filters. So unlike many others, I seen one or two maybe in this price range, but I didn't like them. And their filters were not reusable. This actually has a screw on top. And this screw on top is just a brown sugar-like substance, like a thick, kind of brown sugar crystal almost. And that's the resin. Now they make color change resin so you'll know when it's dirty. I'm just gonna use a TDS meter to know when my zero PPM water is, is slowly degrading. So really the best way to test all this is to just hook it straight up, make sure it's not leaking. Do a before and after water sample, check your PPM with a TDS meter. Now from a water quality standpoint, I have about 50 PPM water, which is really good. If you're in the 150 to 200 PPM water area, your filters will get used up quicker uh, it should still be just as effective, but like I said, it's not going to last as long. That's why I prefer to have a two-stage filtration system before it with a pre-filter and a carbon filter, and then it goes into here. So it's four stages in the end. Now you get to see a preview of the wash cart that I'm going to do a video for. This is actually going to fit right here. So first we check the tap water. So you can see we got 53 ppm water right now. So let's hook up the water hose to the water hose side. We already showed you earlier that all these stuff was already hooked up and torqued down. And then I'm gonna run it over here to where we're closer to this quick disconnect. And there we go. So we pulled some slack out of the hose reel on that side. Now we're gonna hook it up to our SGS 28. We have our black tip on the end here. And we're gonna turn it on, see if slowly You don't want to like push max pressure in here just all of a sudden. You want to make sure that you're letting it fill up. As you can see, I don't have the filters tight enough. So as usual, I forgot to film something important. 
we're just going to work through the lawnmower in the background. There's nothing I can do about it. It's going to take forever. Um, but I use this tool right here. We tighten them down. Like so I'm just turning it and making sure that it's nice and tight. I forgot to tighten these down last night after recorded uh, putting it together and they were still loose. So when you first start out, like I said earlier, make sure you start out like a quarter uh, pull, go to half, go to three quarters. That's why I recommend this shutoff valve. It's less than 10 bucks. It's full of brass. It's worked for me for years. It's awesome. It just allows you to regulate wherever you want rather than having to go to the spigot and turn it on and off. Now, we have rinsing water. So let's see how well this worked. See if we can get zero PPM. Now this is, like I said, it's just the uh, deionization. I am skipping the two-stage pre-filters. So this is just straight as if you were to buy it at your house just to use this unit. You don't have to go this way. This just helps save these because this gets out a lot of contaminants. That's just gonna degrade these filters in the end. There it is, confirmed. Zero, zero, zero PPM water. So I'll quickly show you, I have it set up on the cart now. Obviously we have our deionization on the top our two-stage pre-filter on the bottom, the loop going around to the top from the bottom. We have our uh, spiral, let's take a water heater uh, pipe. It's just because I didn't know how long I needed it to be when I bought it at Home Depot. So I should have bought a shorter one, but that way I just bent it. It looks kind of, I guess, cool, right? And then underneath here, you can see where the quick disconnect hooks up and you can take it off and just hook it right up to the pressure washer and back. It sits on the pressure washer hose reel back here. And like I said, you got a nice water. So we got Helen out here, and we're going to show you what the 40s like. As you can see, she puts out a decent amount of pressure, but it's like it's just a mist, right? And it's okay on this front angle right here. The water's coming off quick, but not at the top angle where it's flatter. You know, it's just going to fall off this angle. You'd have to get real close to kind of push the water off but with this the soap detergent black tip you know what I'm talking about this is a soaking rain rinse and we just sit there and let it get it completely soaked you start up from the top you know the shadows That is exactly what I'm looking for. And that's a great rinse off for Easy Coat from G Technic, which I use about every wash. You're supposed to rinse it off in the end, and you really shouldn't use a lot of pressure. This would be a good rinse for that. So it's the next morning, and I purposely did not dry Helen off to see how the water spots would be and I gotta say I don't see any just like we did with our spotless uh, portable solution we didn't see any um, water spots like I said if you did see anything it would be just a little bit it would be wipeable but as you can see look at the glass I mean I don't see anything One of the biggest water spots that you would have to worry about is once you wash the car and let it sit is there dust in your garage? Obviously, I have a ceiling here that is not finished yet, so I have dust that's falling on the car. If that gets into the spot, obviously that's gonna dry that way, but that is an easily wipeable uh, water spot. So all in all, I think this did really, really well. I do gotta apologize though, I did have a time lapse for the spotless as the water was drying on the car, but I don't know what happened. It stopped recording, whatever. It basically just caught where I was rinsing the hood off and didn't keep going after that and to film so I could speed it up. But uh, I know it works. So don't forget to check the link in the description below for anything I use in this video, including the deionization, which I think is really good. Hopefully it's not like the other products that I go for that it winds up selling out really quick and then people are hitting me on the DM saying, hey, it's no longer available. So let's hope they keep them in stock. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. <clears throat> we did a portable spread a rinseless now we recently now we recently did a video on the portable now we recently did a video on a portlet oh my god now we recently did a video I want to go through this these 
Now, we recently went up. Mm. Welcome to the Cars and Keep YouTube. That Keith here. Well, and the many most. Now, we're even, mm. then we have the other disconnect that's on the opposite of that side. Then we have the up. Oh my god. The main reason I picked these up outside of price, the main reason I pick, the main reason I picked these, and in, a, and in any two stage, the fifth, and in, and in eight, oh my gosh, so that's why I'm running water filtration. That's why I'm running. That's why I'm running. Oh my gosh, that's why I'm running through another two stage system. Oh my gosh. Then it's gonna take a little bit longer. Oh my god. Are you kidding me? You better quiet down. He knew what was up, right? 